Hey guys, Scott here from Alpha Nerd Tech. How's it going? Today I am reviewing a brand new dock that just came across my desk. Today we're going to look at the Wavelink WL UHP 3414 Pro. Huge shout out to Wavelink for sending this over to me. I've been using it now for a few days and I've got to say this little device punches well above its weight. So we're looking at an extremely quick unboxing. So let's get this thing opened up here. And as you can see, all we have inside is the dock itself and some instructions here. So this is it. This is the Wavelink dock. And We'll check it out now. So as you can see, it's got an extremely long cord. Um, I like that. This is the PD only input. So it only, it's only for powering a device. And then we have the HDMI here. And then we have two USB 3.2 and a USB 3.2 data port. So that one in the back is only for power. And then we have our 2.5 gig ethernet. So let's jump into the specs here real quick. All right, so jumping into the specs here, the HDMI supports 4K at 144 hertz, which is pretty good. Um, it does do the USB PD charging, so whatever device it's plugged into, it will charge at 85 watts. Um, it does have an aluminum sandblasted housing. Um, the USB 3.0 extension cable on the front of it is roughly 10 inches or 255 centimeters. Um, so it's, it's a good length. Um, yeah. And then the two USB A's, the one USB C, um, transfer speeds up to 10 gig. And they're, of course, they're always backward compatible with all the 3.0, 2.0, 1.1, you know, all the old, older pro protocols. So, um, it does have the RJ45 ethernet port, which supports 2.5 G. And uh, it also is compatible with the 1G, 100, 10 meg, you know, all the other stuff. Um, super plug and play, user friendly. It's easy to throw in a backpack. Um, it does have uh, overcurrent protection built into it. And it does support all of the latest popular Windows, Mac, and Linux versions. So. All right, guys, so here we are on the Mac, and let's go ahead and open up Google Chrome. And, oh, we can forget about these toys I was playing with earlier. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go into Gallifrey. Gallifrey is my Unraid server. And we're gonna jump into the network speed test, and we're gonna start this test right here. So this is the ethernet port speeds of the dock. And as you can see, it's running right at the 24 or 25 that we are expecting out of it. So this is perfect. And then we'll let it do its upload here. Yep, there we go. That's typical what I get out of this um, system anyway um, on a 2.5 dongle. So yeah, this is perfect. Um, so as you can see, the speeds are all there. Everything's good. And then what I've got is I'm going to... Go ahead and close this out. And I've got this Kingston here. This Kingston is capable of running plenty fast enough to do a 10G test on it. So let me get that plugged in. All right, and then we'll go over to Blackmagic. And let's get this in the center of the screen here. All right, so we'll go ahead and select the Kingston here. Open that up and let's go ahead and start the test. And as you can see, we're running at the 10G speeds that the uh, dot claims. So that's uh, you know, that's what we're expecting out of it. Um, and I'll go ahead and plug this Kingston in directly to the Mac anyway, just as a test. But as you can see, it's, it's perfect. Um, this is exactly what we should be running out of it.
All right, guys, so here we're back in Blackmagic, and I've got the hard drive plugged directly into the Mac Mini. So we're going to go ahead and run the same speed test. And as you can see, sorry, this is the Mac Studio, but anyway, as you can see, the uh, drive runs the exact same speed, whether it's plugged directly into the Mac or if it's plugged into the dock. So this is perfect. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this. And then one last test I want to do is just test the capabilities of the 10 gig uh, USB ports also um, for speed wise. And I'm going to go ahead and go into Gallifrey back to the server. So I've got the Mint House 5G adapter that Wavelink sent over to me. Um, yes, Mint House is a um, product of Wavelink. So anyway, let's go ahead and open this up. And I've got this plugged into the side of it now. So I know you guys can't see it, but the, do the dock plugged into the Mac, the Mac, the do uh, dongle, Mint House dongle plugged in. So we're gonna test the 5G capabilities here. And there we go, we turned our dock into a 5G dock by using one of Wavelink's adapters. And Gallifrey is capable of 10G. I have fiber optic running over to, to it. So um, yeah, we can run some higher speed stuff anytime. But there we have it. So the USB ports do work the same. And if I were to go ahead and plug this in directly to the Mac again, give me a second, let me unplug this. And now we've got the Mint House 5G adapter plugged directly into the Mac. I'm just waiting for a light to turn green and orange to show that it's on the high speed. And then let's reload this and start it again. You can see we get the same speed, so everything's the same. Yeah, so I mean, very good little dock. Um, runs very well, the speeds are fast. Uh, I have no problems with it at all. <clears throat> And I think it's a good little investment for, you know, 40 bucks or so. Um, there will be a link down below. Um, if you guys want to check it out, pick it up. It doesn't run warm or anything. Like, subscribe to the channel. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in the next one, guys.